Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing or taking a look at the new Sugar Pill Pretty Poison lipsticks. I did purchase two of them and I only have the two colors. They are $20 each, so I was only going to buy two. I kind of had to narrow down to which ones I wanted, but I ended up getting two very different colors. One of them that I'm wearing right now is Spank. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the packaging as well that it came in. This is my first order that I've ever made from Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill is cruelty free. Not all their items are vegan. These lipsticks are. I had wanted to buy a few things before. The things that I wanted to buy before were sold out. So I didn't end up buying anything. And a lot of their products are a little bit more in the price range where I'm a little more hesitant to purchase them. Not like they're crazy expensive or anything, but since I hadn't tried that much, I didn't want to go overboard. So, I will show you the really cute package the, um, that it got shipped in. Very, very cute. I will say I almost kind of wish that this was like half a size, just because it's a little bit big for what was actually in it. But the inside just says, Hi Cutie, has the sugar pill pills everywhere, and also came with a little sticker, which I like getting stickers from the brands. I kind of have a little collection going now but yeah so these were just released the other day and they are cruelty free vegan like I said there are some I mean for the most part ingredient wise it's pretty standard it's not like a green beauty product by any means but it doesn't contain any animal products or anything like that um, and I will show you the outer packaging like I said they're called pretty poison side it says your antidote to ordinary it says the dreamiest creamiest long wearing hyper pigmented lipstick with single stroke coverage vegan and cruelty free the two colors that I got are the one I'm wearing which is spank and cubby um cubby is more of like a coral this is a purple on screen this is pulling very blue I'm not really sure why I guess it is kind of a bluey purple but it's not as blue as it's pulling on screen the packaging is really, really out of this world. I mean, for $20, obviously you kind of want it to be, but this is really, really what drew me to these. I'm not usually a pink type of girl, but the super glittery packaging, just like, I just wanted it so badly. And this is what they look like, the little tubes. I'll zoom in on this too so you can see how glittery they are. But it's basically the Sugar Pill logo with the little cute little Hershey thing on there. And this is all glitter packaging really sturdy well made it is flat on the bottom so you can display it if you would like and on the inside here you see it says sugar pill and I will zoom in for you so you can see a little bit better and it twists up very easily very high quality product um, high quality packaging I'll show you the two swatches on my hand that I have of these right now and I will take this off so you can see cubby and what it looks like but this is it swatched again these are pulling this is pulling very blue and this is pulling very orange where on in real life this is a little bit more coral than orange but basically I do like the formulation of these this feels very very creamy and nice on my lips and I don't really know if this is really a true matte. <laughs> I don't know if any traditional lipstick could really be a true matte after using liquid lipsticks. I think it's kind of hard to get that <laughs> the same effect. But I do really like the finish of these. It's almost like a, a demi matte, I would say. Out of the two that I got, I definitely prefer Spank, which is what I have on right now. But I will show you Cubby as well so you can see what it looks like on me. This one is a little bit less opaque 
and you need a few more swipes than with the darker shade but I do still really like this it feels really nice on my lips I feel like this is a color that I could wear pretty much every day and not feel like too overpowered by it or anything and I think that they came out with some pretty unique shades which is nice too I have only worn cubby for a long period of time now and I do feel like it's stayed really really well I won't say it's like the most long I won't say it's the most long wearing lipstick I've ever worn but it did stay really well it stayed in place on my lips I didn't get too like I didn't get any crustiness or anything like that yeah I'm really happy overall with this purchase I will say I do think the formulation is the same for each of these colors that I got but I don't think that cubby applied as opaque but other than that I liked them both liked them both a lot these are made in the USA which is also really really nice so they're cruelty free they're vegan there really is so much effort and care put into making these look as gorgeous as they do I definitely suggest it if you're a lipstick lover or if you want to try some fun funky colors or even if you're new to cruelty free and vegan beauty and you're having a hard time finding brands or products that kind of still speak to your like high-end needs I definitely suggest this like if you're someone who's trying to transition away from buying all your stuff at Sephora or whatever I mean there's plenty of good brands at Sephora but so many of them now are no longer cruelty free or whatever if you're transitioning into vegan and cruelty free this is a really nice way to start it's something that still has that appeal of those high-end you know brands that you see at Sephora so hopefully you guys liked this video I know it's not very long and it's not very <laughs> whatever I don't have the whole thing to swatch for you but um hopefully you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video